Welcome back to another extremely questionable video filled with nothing but cholesterol and I am hellbent on making my doctor hate me. Here I have nearly all of the Japanese crisps that I could find. I realize how stupid this looks, but thankfully I'm here with Chris to help me eat it all. What are you trying to do to me, Connor? Can we have had, like, Japanese vegetable eating, I ate all the vegetables? Like, what is this? Do you actually want to do that? We can do No, that. <laughs> okay. I don't want to do this either. Like, I met my doctor recently and he went, Oh, Chris, my no cholesterol is There is over 50 different varieties of potato chips here, or crisps, as we say. In the UK, like, crisps are pretty good, right? We've got Very a good. gold standard. And uh, Japan, it leaves a lot to be desired on the crisp front, mm. as far as I'm concerned. Let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. Let's destroy my health. Let's have a heart attack. <laughs> Let's do it. Chris, I, I must ask, how often do you partake in crisps in Japan? Not as much as I used to. Like when I lived yeah. in the UK, I used to have like three or four crisps a day. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I didn't do the same. Well, that's day. the thing, right? In Japan, crisps come in a bigger sort of packet. In the yeah. UK, they're like little poultry children size. I think that's Big almost size. like more deceptive though, because when you have the tiny ones, you're like, mm. well, I'll just have another. That's all right. I feel really guilty and weird when I have crisps these days. I feel <laughs> like really salty. And <laughs> what are you going to feel with this video? I'm going to feel awful. I'm going to have like a heart attack. That'll be the final closing scenes of this video. going to be me going, <laughs> rolling <laughs> on onto the sides. This is some beer that I've chosen as well. When you have crisps, the best thing that goes with it is beer or tea, whichever you prefer. Wow, that is very nice color. What was this one we rated alcohol? Look at it says on the side, an unprecedented harmony of heritage and innovation. <laughs> They've gone a bit over the top there. Unprecedented <laughs> harmony. It's a beer. It's a beer. All right, well, cheers, All right, cheers. cheers. This video is sponsored by Girl Cafe Gun. Girl Cafe Gun is an ARPG development game that integrates TBS combat and live 2D interaction, management, and other elements. The story is about an outbreak of disasters triggered by source power. In the game, players will act as commander and join with the girl warriors of the 08 team to fight together. Immerse yourself in beautiful graphics powered by live 2D. Build your own dream team by collecting character cards, a rare live 2D shooting game that you cannot miss. Enjoy the diverse bonding system with high fidelity social interactions including tickling, gift giving, moment sharing, and private messages for an intimate bond with the girl you love. Use multiple fighting skills and strategies by switching three characters into one. Outwit the enemy by your intelligence. Run your own virtual cafe with customized decorations and different coffee types. Find your business sense by satisfying the needs of your lovely customers. If you want a luxury audio experience, Girl Cafe Gun is the place to go. Meet Irene. This is now my new girlfriend. I will protect her with everything I have. And so should you. But not Irene, she's mine. So what are you waiting for? Get ready for Squad 08 Live 2D with 10 plus characters in game to capture those heartbeat moments with zero distance attraction. Download the link in the description down below. So use my coupon code and smash that link in the description down below. And sorry for the scuffed read, I'm in a hotel room. Alright, so this is actually my favorite. I will say though, if you Wait. do eat more than one pack of these, you do feel like you're about to die. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it smells like, um, <laughs> it smells a bit like feet. So these are like one of the most popular flavors in Japan, as yes. far as I know. And these came out in like 1991, and ever since then they've just been like the most popular. You've read all the Wikipedia pages I've done, today, I've, I've done some research. With 1991! <laughs> right, I'm gonna have a bunch, I love these. Oh, oh. But you can see like on the crisps there's like little pieces of cheese. And also in the kombini, they do like a three times the size bag. It's so bad for you. I, like even reading the label, it's just like Don't warning. read the label. But I love these. These are like nine out of ten for me. Yeah, I'll give it a nine out of ten. You know, I feel like when they try and emulate Western flavors, they don't really do it as well. And this is like one. Absolutely, better. really good. Highly recommend. Don't be like me. Don't be judgmental. Don't judge a packet of crisp bites cover. Buy these mm -hmm. when you get in Japan, and you won't regret it. Let's get this one. The hula hoops kind of knockoff. Potteko. 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 I think they're just. They're just salted flavor. It smells like cardboard. Yeah, it doesn't smell very good. Good texture, but no flavor. There's nothing exciting about it, but I don't hate it. Five out of 10 for it. You're not rating a Ferrari, Connor. It's a hula hoop crisps. Yeah, but why is it? Why is everything really salted? Like, I think this is the only flavor of this crisp, if I'm correct, which is be kind of sad, really. Some cheese and onion, some salt and vinegar. Crack out the sad piano. Crack yeah, out yeah, the right. violin. What, what would you give it? What would I give it? Yeah. Five out of 10. You just gave me shit for giving five out of ten, and then you give. Well, it's just so bland. Yeah, and yeah. flavorless. This looks kind of like prawn cocktail, but yeah. I don't think it is. Oh god, it's plums. It's plum. oh. The ume sour plums are really popular in Japan, and uh, they taste horrific. They're so sour. <laughs> that doesn't smell. Good. Like you know, warheads. The sweets, the sour sweets, warheads. <laughs> this is like nature's warheads, and. Uh, 
No, it's not. It's not it doesn't well, work. Well, actually, I think when they get like the sour extract to put in things, mm. I think. Why are you inspecting it like a like a, a bank teller with the like money? A Ten pound <laughs> <Yes>. note. Yes. <laughs> yes, looks authentic. Let's try it, shall we? So it's sprinkled with like a pink powder, like the uh, fume has been sprinkled on. Let's try it. If you gave this to someone and they didn't know what it was and they come from the UK in particular, they would think, oh, is that salt vinegar gone wrong? It's actually not bad. Do I, I'm kind of sad that I wanted to hate it, but it's actually pretty good. I do hate it. Which is weird because I love Imeshu, the alcoholic version. Unsurprisingly. I think I'd give this a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Mm. I'll give it a 6. Oh, you like it more than the other one? I do like it more than the other one. The f who loops are like cardboard. I want flavour of some kind. Anything. Give me some sort of flavour. So that's a 6. I feel like maybe, maybe we were too generous to the hula hoops now. 4. Yeah, sure. Four. Going down by the minute. Potatoes from Japan. Mm. Mm. There was a shortage in 2017, right? You were here when that happened. The great potato shortage. Yeah, you know about this, right? No. In 2017, but, there was a hurricane that hit Hokkaido pretty bad, where most of the potatoes are grown in Japan. And apparently there's, there's a potato chip shortage. And the pizza potato crisps were so in demand that one of the bags, which is normally about $1.50, was going for $12. People were reselling Oh my them. god. Yeah, it's... For pizza crisps. Japan thinks that the potatoes from other countries are, like, inferior in quality to the ones that they grow. Right. So they refuse to use foreign potatoes to no make way. potato chips. Which is why you will never see foreign potato chips, like, directly imported into, like, just stores, unless it's an import store. Because they do have Doritos, mm. but they're, like, their own weird version that don't taste like Doritos. I didn't know this. Yeah. I'm learning things on the C.VA channel. I googled it, but also I heard about that. <laughs> now, for another obsession of Japan, Sweet potato. Oh no. They absolutely love sweet potatoes, or yeah. yams as they're called in America. Did you know that? What, yams? Yeah, I didn't know it was called yams until like last year. Your knowledge is so sporadic. I know. You know when the crisps were made in 1991, the pizza crisps, made in 1991. But you didn't know that a sweet potato was a yam in America. I didn't know that. This looks good though, it's not like what is this? anemic squares. Like quavers. The UK equivalent's quavers. Whoa, I did not expect that flavor. It's sugar. Tastes like sugar. Yeah. It's it's kind of surprising. Maybe a five. Five out of ten, I think. I'll give it a four. Fair enough. Oh, it's Japan's Pringles. It looks like somebody's <laughs> had to draw Pringles from memory. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll just do that. Thing. I think that they taste less crunchy oh, yeah. in Japan. Mmm. That's pretty bad. What's going on there? <laughs> Inspect it. Inspect it harder. I find that Japanese Pringles... After the first initial crunch, they kind of just stop crunching at all and become mm. mush really fast, as opposed to British and American Pringles. I really don't like these. I would mm. only eat these if I was really hungry. I'll give this like a two or a three. I usually get sour cream and onion flavor mm. and a dip. Yeah, I'll give that like a three. That was shit. That was shit, though. That's a sort of cardboardy aftertaste. And I know, because I, like I eat it. cardboard regularly. But like, <laughs> as a British person, I'm used no, to yeah. the taste of cardboard. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, it's like I, a medieval weapon. Oh, yeah. They look like they're going to go everywhere. So these are like kid-sized... <laughs> what are you doing? It's like a little tiny dough ball. I think it's supposed to look like that. Ooh. That had a really nice sounding crunch to it, actually. It's like candy. Three out of ten. It's like balls of sugar under the guise of mini dough balls. Oh, it's like eating chalk. It's, it's got a sort of chalk-like quality oh my to it. God. That's probably the worst one we've had yet. It's full of calcium. Oh, right, so it's like calcium for kids. It's basically like little balls of calcium. I love calcium, yeah. What's <laughs> this, then? I love these ones. Have you had these? No, I'm not really a big fan of spicy crisps, because they get really messy, and uh, again, I just feel really rough eating them. This is like, I don't want flavour at all. I get rough eating flavour. <laughs> <It's, laughs> there's English on the front. It says, hey, what's up? Another long day? Just try our yummy spicy caramucho and say... Hi! It's written like a real person would say it out loud. I love it. That looks really nice, actually. It's got a, yeah, it's sort of red powder. Mmm. Yeah, I love that. Oh, wow. Mmm. It's like kind of a barbecue, but with like a bit mm. more spice to it. That's right. the best we've had so far. Yeah. Another long day? <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Say hi! This is great. This is a nine for me, mm. for sure. I'll give that a nine, yeah. Chris, this magical bag of crisps! It's this. What's this? Oh, ah! Nice, boring. The most basic. But wait a minute, what's this on the back? Oh, you can like origami the paper. This changes everything. The trash taste special waiting to happen. These are the most standard crisps in Japan. You see them everywhere, mm. every store. Calbee would probably, probably do special. about half the crisps we have here. And actually on the website, they have like the history of all their crisp flavors. You've read it all, have you? I've looked through it all and just, uh, that's how I figured out the date of the pizza potato. Give us some Calbee facts. Calbee uh, first started producing potato chips in the 40s or 50s, I believe. Yeah. They're worse than I remember. Because I haven't had these in like three or four years. Because I've always found them to be a little bit boring. It's just like eating air. It's quite oily, isn't it? Four or three from me? I'm not a big fan of that one. I'll give it a three. 
The only way it could be improved is by giving it a flavour. <laughs> Maybe it could work in a sandwich if you need some sort of crispy texture in the sandwich. Yeah, that's a thing that British people do that mm. Americans think is like the worst thing on earth. Um, so it's just cod roe with butter. Yeah, I don't like it. Japan is obsessed with roe, which is just the egg fishes, and they put it on everything. And I just think it tastes like salted water. Salted water. Don't you think so? Because you bite into it, it bursts, and it's just salt. The only it. thing I'll say about it is I feel healthy when I eat it. Oh yeah, it's like the cod liver tablets, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try it. Oh no. It's very fishy. I've never had this flavour because I know straight up that I hate the oh, flavour. Oh no, I don't like this. And the butter as well, Jesus. There's a reason I've avoided this for nine oh, years now. God. I'll give that four, because at least there's some flavour. Yeah, three, two, four, one. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Alright, what's the next crisp? Chris? Crisp, crisp, crisp! It is ton curry corn. Ton curry corn. It's promoting the new uh, movie. Uh, I can't remember what it, which movie it is. You're all the anime. Uh, you're not the anime I should, guy. I, I should know. I'm not the anime man, Sam. Not the anime I, man. I'm, I'm just a man, a mere mortal. Rubbish, man. I we don't, don't have anything like this in the UK, but I know France has no. something like this. Oh. Christmas come early. Oh, oh look at that. You remove the top. Oh, this is oh just gosh. stupid. <laughs> this is just. Not quite as impressive now, is it? But that. Looked exciting. This looks like coffee. This is like something you store evidence in. <laughs> like a, a little claw. It's fun, isn't it? Mm. You brought it out. What are you doing? Cardboard. Put it like that, though, and it's cool. No, it doesn't. It's cool, isn't it? No. I give that a two. That's appalling. I like it. No! What would you give that? Six. <laughs> Point five. Yes! Fried potato. Oh, it's potato. not fried, this is pure potato. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. There's, there is another one called fried potato. All of the sins. <laughs> All of the seven deadly sins potato. That's oh, thick. that's this. So these are thick cut chips. Oh, that smells very nice as well. How satisfying does that bag look? All it's like a premium bag. Look, at that. Like, look inside, they're all like just neatly cut. Very flavorful in a good way. Ooh. Oh, I like that. The only thing is, I'm not really a fan of the thick cut way. It really? feels a bit awkward to crunch it. Right. Let's go with the beer, though. Mm, eight out of ten. Nine. Give it a nine. What the hell's that? So on the back, they've got 47 prefectures in Japan, and they've got a different flavour for each prefecture, and the flavour of Tokyo, it seems, is uh, tempura. Let's see if it tastes good. Very, very crunchy, but not in a good way. It, like, it actually hurt my teeth. It's worrying how accurate oh. it tastes like tempura. But also, I don't want it to taste like tempura, <laughs> so not a good thing. I'm a big tempura fan, and uh... that's shit though. <laughs> that's sh oh no, three, definitely three. Yeah. So until now, we've had an onslaught of various unhealthy crisps. Oh, time to get healthy with oh edamame flavored crisps. Are they healthy? No. God. They look like loads of um, looks like edamame inside, right? That's it. But they're not. They're edamame shaped and coloured. No, no. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take one. What the f? Tastes really weird. Very, very flavourless. There's no it's flavour. Like, it's like foam. <laughs> it's like eating foam. These aren't Hell. exactly healthy for you either. So why not just well, eat something that's bad? Real for you? edamame. It's real it's edamame, mind. or just a nice bag of crisps that you don't regret eating. That's, that's the thing, terrible. Right? Crisps are a guilty pleasure, they should be enjoyed. Sorry, I know I'm probably dashing any chances of my sponsorship with Calby here, but... I'll give it a two, a because it, it doesn't taste disgusting, it just tastes of nothing. Oh, so one is reserved for disgusting? One is like horror okay. in your okay, mouth. Okay, fine, two then, two. Horror in your yeah, mouth. two, two, Calby. Two, right. Next. Cheese. Chip star. Seafood Ooh, flavour. Oh, I was Imagine excited. Pringles, but terrible. And then you've got Chipstar. Let's crack it open. So Chipstar, basically Japan's own brand of uh, Pringles. Yeah, they very much look like it with their like almost Comic Sans-esque font. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is this is the most depressing. <laughs> this is so depressing. They've just put it in like a condom or something. A condom? It looks like a packet of crisps. What the f*** do you use? <laughs> I can't open this. Can you do it? Yeah, but, this is why I've been opening it the whole time. Oh, apparently I've, I've done it wrong. Is there a strategy? There apparently is a strategy. Oh, I see. So, oh, right, put it back in. Put it back in. So, you apparently do this. Push this in. Here. And apparently you just... <laughs> you just destroy all the crisps, Carl. <laughs> I don't know Oh, for works. God's sake. There's a strategy. Yeah, destroy the crisps. <laughs> it says if you're... <laughs> When you're finished with it, surely? No. Yeah, when you're done with it. Oh, shit. You pull that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, right. oh. There's got to be one or two good ones in there. There we go. There we go. As intended. Chip, as in, chip star employees as watching in. this like, no, don't do that to our crisps. <laughs> oh, f***. Oh. oh. A final insult. It's got a really horrible powder on. 
it has a really sour sort of taste to it. I'm kind of glad you smashed it to pieces. Now. Oh, it just tastes rancid. <laughs> Wash oh it down with God. beer. I don't know what this is. I think it's another oh. brand from Calbee that's salted. Edamame shio butter. Oh, this could be good. I love the sort of funky, jazzy mm. branding. Of all the branding so far, this is the one that's like the most visually wow and exciting. Yeah, I'd say so. I do I dare let you anywhere near it. I've got a strategy. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I'm not, oh, 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 oh. Give that a whiff. It smells like a bomb's gone off in a kitchen. So these are kind of like, uh, kind of like kettle chips. Yeah, that's really not good, that one. Edamame flavor doesn't really work well. Because yeah. it's not edamame, it's like an artificial flavor that's like edamame. And it tastes like shit. That's a one, isn't it? That's a one, that's worse than that's the other. That's a real shame. Like the branding's a 10, the flavor's a one. I don't know what this is, but it looks awful. <laughs> oh. oh no, it's like vegetable flavor. It's got a pepper, a tomato, a beetroot. Spinach, is it? <laughs> Is that spinach? Is it spinach? It looks like french fries. And Shockingly, coloured. it tastes like nothing. They've got like uh, little pieces of green and red on there. Give it a four. It's salt. I mean, that's what it is, just salt alone. Oh. That's a four for me as well. One of your personal favorites, I believe. Jagarico, cheese flavor. I mean, these are quite good. These get the job done. Mm. I do love the cup. I don't know why. It feels very satisfying Convenient, to like, eat it. it. Yeah, yeah. You feel like you can put it in the car. Like you can put it like in the cup holder and you're like, oh great, I can just have a little snack. Oh, they've done like the similar thing to like the pizza potato. Yeah, so they've, they've melted cheese over the, uh, over the crisps. Quite hard. Mm. No, quite good. Man, I haven't had these in a long time, but I don't remember them tasting this bad. I mean, let me have a, some beer and I'll try it again. Mm. No. The texture is fantastic though. So I think the presentation is very good of these. Mm. I gave them a five. I mm. would have given them a three on flavor, but for everything else, five. And like you said, I think you find them everywhere because this one lasts until 2027. I'll be dead by then. But yeah, I'll give it a four. Speaking of potatoes, did you know when potatoes were originally introduced to Japan? What do I win if I get it right? A beer. Another one. Another oh. beer. It was the Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. In. No, no, not Portuguese, sorry. Dutch. I'm in the Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm Interchangeable, the Dutch, aren't they? <laughs> Portuguese, Dutch, all the same. That's my beloved Dutch fan base gone. And Portuguese. 16. Mm -hmm. 15. 15. Carry on. Carry on. 80. 15. 72. 1598. Oh, I thought, oh, we're probably nearly done by now. No, there's a whole nother bag here. What have we got here? It looks like Pokemon. Ah, yes. Yeah, so this is normally like the kind of like, well, I think most countries have these, like they're like fish shaped. The reason why I got these is because instead of fish, they're shaped like Pokemon. Ooh, it's actually. Blastoise. What is that? It's... This is just a star. Uh -huh. They've just, they've just reused the star and called it Star U. Oh! It's Charizard. Ooh. This is a uh, Seedra or something. I don't know what it's called. This is really cool. I love this. They don't taste awful. Oh, they got the octopus Pokemon. But these are the best ones yet. They're not satisfying to eat, though. Yeah, they are. Very They're, satisfying. Just Who like, doesn't want to eat their favourite Pokemon? You just like the Pokemon. They're not yeah, even I Pokemon. Do. I do just like the Pokemon. What's that? <laughs> Blue Whale. Well, that's, of course, that's Whale Lord, of course. I know my Pokemon. There is no Whale Lord. <laughs> there is a Whale You're Lord. You're built on a lie. There's no. Whale Lord. Bollocks. There's a Pokemon called Whale Lord. No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. I'm thoroughly impressed with these. Not only do you get the fun, the shape of the Pokemon, you get a great flavor. So There's no flavor, Connor. I feel like you're biased. Your judgment is, no, no, is out no. the window here because you just love Pokemon. So. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 5 out of 10. All right. Oh, five? What the hell is this? What is this? I don't know. Oh. Oh. I thought about it and then I realized I can't read. I love it in Japan how they use Otona. Adult as flavors. As adult flavor, right? Yeah. This is an adult flavor crisp. Oh, it's yeah. adult Jagariko. So All the right. Jagariko mm. things we saw earlier, they're for kids. This is the real deal. When you become an adult, you don't get cups anymore. Yeah. Cups. Cups are for right. babies. Resealable as well. Oh, it's pretty pretty hot. Actually, that's pretty handy. That's pretty okay, good. I was going to mock it. That's pretty good, actually. That sounded like you dropped chalk on the thing. Okay. What was that? What that's, was that's that? That's a texture of chalk. What's that? Tastes like uh, Mapo tofu, like Chinese food. You know, give me another one. I, I like those. Yeah, that's spot on. That's I good. I like that actually. Yeah, yeah. Give those eight. You can, you can take it home, ten. Chris, as well. Reseal it. The benefits of working with Sea Dog V8 to take your food, your half-eaten food, home with you. Eight out of ten. Yeah, yeah I'll give no. that note. What's this? Oh no, it's like seaweed flavored. I heard about this. Apparently in Japan, Korean seaweed is seen as like a very crispy alternative that's like very flavorful. Because when you go to Korean restaurants here, they often just have an item on the mm. menu that is just crispy seaweed. You can taste every single thing they said is in there. And the best thing is the seaweed isn't overpowering. Personally, I like it, but I don't think it's as nice as some of the other ones. I'll give that a six for me. 
personally. I'm a seven. It's limited edition. Oh, is it? So enjoy it while it lasts. What you go? Oh my lord! What's that? This is tragic branding. Look and at it this. claims to be premium. It's made by a company called Terra <laughs> Terra Foods. But does it taste like Terra? So I didn't know this word. I feel a bit guilty. Mm -hmm. Sezuni means without doing instead of. Can eat it without feeling bad. Yeah, it's crispy. You can eat without having to worry about calories. Let's see if I have to worry about the taste though. What is that? Oh, it looks like those walkers do these in the UK. They have a brand similar to this actually. It looks like really. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like. Dreadful. They look anemic. It's like, oh. oh my god, it actually like goes with the wind. Look at this. Oh shit. This is what, what fun looks like, ladies what and gentlemen. The f what the hell? It like dissolves it, in your mouth. It's not a crisp though, is it? It looks like crisps until you eat it or hold it close. It's almost transparent. It's pretty bad. Come on. Three. Three. Yeah, maybe uh, two. I would. I could eat the whole bag probably. This is gonna be one that I know you'll love, Chris. This is the oh, French. Oh, for God's sake! This is the French salad. It's gonna taste like shit. It's French salad. You love your French salad, right, Chris? <laughs> You're a big French salad guy. It's horrible. Get out of my sight. <laughs> I hate That's everything terrible. about them, but I want another one. There's no flavour. What do you think? Two. Three. Come on, it's not that bad. What's this? Ooh. Caramel corn. I have had these. I quite like these, actually. These look disturbingly unhealthy. They look a bit like what's it's It's what's it's Cheetos. But it's got that very nice peanutty yeah, yeah. flavour to it. I'd give these an eight. I, I really like these. Yeah, eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. I really like those. It's more of a dessert, though, than a crisp, wouldn't you say? <laughs> We've gone from sweet to spicy. They're very satisfying, very Moorish, very Although, messy. Yeah, yeah I was so say, messy. They are by far. Why are you ripping them open, then, if you know they're messy? It's your table, mate, not mine. They could have made some nice long sticks, but it's just like broken out. I've just completely broken out. But they are really nice though. Yeah, mm. whenever you pull these out of the bag, they always go everywhere. Like that. Do you know why these are Gant's favourite? Not a shit taste, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a similar flavour to these, right? But and not you, satisfying. Yeah, if you try another one of these, that's way better. This is a six for me. I will give them a four. The flavour's not there, and yeah. it's too damn messy. What's oh, no. next, Grace? Another oh, it's one. another premium one. Let's go. It's a titanium lined bag. Put nuclear waste in here. <laughs> oh, it says open here. <laughs> so it's consomme a Japanese soup. It's kind of like a it. vegetable beef kind of broth. I really like it. And they also have a lot of crisps that have the flavor of consomme. And I always really like them. So I'm hoping I'll like this one. I just hate the fluffy flavor. This is, this is the one we had earlier, where it's like eating air. I'm very sad about this, actually. I think this is a three or a four. I'll give it a five, because it's actually got a little bit of flavor. I know you'll love this. What is that? This is Iwashi. They love it. It's got another calcium on the front. Winner. Yeah, and D Winner. DHA and EPA, whatever that oh, is. Oh, my that, favorite. This could be deadly diseases and I, I wouldn't know any better. DHA, 55 milligrams. What is DHA? It'll be on screen right now and we'll look like idiots. And, and, and everyone will know it. Of course the viewers will know it. Oh yeah, I knew that well long. It looks like toenails. This is... <laughs> that doesn't look good at all. Toenail crisps. You go first. I'll grab two. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what the flavor is. Oh. Disappointing fish. It's just horrible as well. The texture is really bad. That's one out of 10 for me. Oh, God. Man, these shadows make it look like we're on a crime scene. <laughs> Next up, we've got this. This is a Sapporo potato mm. barbecue. Pineapple Dude. tea. At least a pineapple tea. <laughs> What's going on? Pineapple Ooh, tea. Good. Chicken and beef. When you're not satisfied with one animal, you put them both in the bag. I think they just didn't want to say meat because it sounds <laughs> Generic, disgusting. Mystery meats. Jesus Christ, have they packed this in? That's it. Like, that's. That is full. Well, oh you could God. feed the whole of trash taste with that. Didn't I thought you were going to have to say something more grandiose there. A great meal at the Last Supper in Sapporo Barbecue, chicken and beef. I give that an eight. I could, eight. I could, I could, I could definitely eat that any time. I'm giving that an eight. Yeah, I'd say so. Like, this is are we there yet scenario. Like, I'd say 70 yet? to 80% done. But you're in for a treat, Chris, because these ones are amazing. I don't know how to describe it. Let's just, let's just crack them open. These are very nice. Give that a whiff. Come on. Mm, it smells like a steak restaurant. I love that. Oh wow, yeah. 10 out of 10, it's got a monkey on the front. It's got a monkey on the front. I've noticed it's quite easy to win over Connor. Make oh, a, right. a crisp that looks like a Pokemon, or have a monkey on the front, and you get an extra point. It's kind of like a serious adult crisp, right? But look with monkeys. This is great, <laughs> I love this one. I give this a nine, I think, personally. I like the, um, I got the sort of, sort of salty, buttery taste of the beef. Something new. Ooh. They're basically lots of little crunchy things, and little- Oh, so it's just like bar, like mixed nuts. It's bar, it's like, bar yeah, snacks, bar right, snacks. yeah. There's one type of, uh, that is the weirdest way I've ever seen anyone open. It's, that's how they're supposed to be open. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It's supposed oh, to be open Jesus on the side. Christ. That's a three from me. I do not like that. There's a reason I've lived here nine years and never eaten these. <laughs> I've never, how do you make, oh, f***ing hell, look as you opened it like a dickhead. <laughs> 
Rich coming from me, Mr. I've got a strategy. Smash. <laughs> replay, replay that. Next up, are you tired of salt yet? Give me something that's good. There's more salt oh, coming. Salt. <laughs> vinegar flavor. Oh, we're gonna get, finally, salt and vinegar crisps. I wouldn't bank on it, no. Oh, I think it's salt and vinegar crisps. Really? Yeah, yeah, it smells exactly like salt vinegar. The texture of the crisp is pretty rubbish. The flavour's close, it's so, just not sharp enough. Mm, I'll give it a six because the flavour's all right, but it's not good enough and the crisps are very flimsy. Like if they combined, like the very ridged crisps, crisps, sorry, they, <laughs> crisps. If they combined this one with this, this would be a 10, I think. Now this. Is this prime potato? Prime potato. Oh. I love prime potato. They do a lot of different flavors. They also did like an Evangelion like collab a while back. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Uh, it's, it's an anime. What's Evangelion? Oh, oh God. What, so, is this, what is this flavor? Saltless. What I like about these is they're the closest tasting to British crisps in terms of texture and crunchiness and depth. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. I want to hear your big bad voiceover voice. Read out the English on the front. I want to I want to <clears> feel <throat> the excitement of prime potato while I drink my beer. Koikia presents these potato chips with the utmost pride. Inspired by our early days, we've applied the new pride potato manufacturing method to craft a new Japanese delicacy. Please enjoy our crisp. Oh, they said crisp. They asked you for crisp. Please enjoy our Legends. crisp. Truly delectable chips. Sneaky, they use both chips. Yeah, and they're trying to, trying to play to both yeah. crowds there. I'm not, I'm not fond of that. Well, look at that. You can practically see the pride. All right, let's give that a shot. No flavour at all. <laughs> they, when they said no salt, they weren't kidding. Why would you not put salt on them? <laughs> Let's improve these right now. Hey. <laughs> I'm sure they're delicious now. A lot better. You need like a lot more salt. It makes you realise a lot of salt goes into crisps. Oh my god, what's this? This is the spicier pizza potato version. Habanero and cheese flavour. They're very red. Well, it has to be if it's hot, you know? It must be. How will they know it's hot if it's not red? Tastes like the, the first ones we had, but they are pretty spicy. It's kind of giving me a kick. I wonder what you're feeling. Yeah, it's, it's the spiciest crisp we've had so far. I love the texture. The crunchiness is superb. Nine. Nine out of ten. Dare I say, it could be a ten out of ten for me. Really? I really, really like these. I, like I would them. probably say they're the best crisp we've had so far today. Good job, Calby. These are amazing. Well Good done. job. I don't know what on earth this is. It looks like a South Park character or like Parappa the Rapper. It looks like someone's peeled the flesh off of someone's face mm. and just put it in a bag. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the person that did it. I have these are like Hot Wheels tracks. That's what they look like. <laughs> Very impressive. Jesus, it's so salty. It tastes like socks. Mm. It's a one. That's a one though. But my mouth is working so hard just to eat it. Cow beer again. Oh, I know how to open these. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's, it's uh, consomme a bit stronger. Mm, yeah, it smells very strong actually. Nice straw. That's kind of slick, wasn't it? Yeah, that's very impressive. Oh, yeah, that's good. I like that. That's All a right. six or seven for me. It's a one. What? Awful. Awful. You're just tired of crisps, though. I am fed up of crisps. I never want to eat crisps again after today. It's awful. Chip star. Oh, no. Oh, horn wasabi. Horn Actually, wasabi is just like... Real wasabi. Oh, so they say, but... That's definitely not real. Let's see if it's good. Whoa. Oh, that's horseradish. As chip star goes, that is about as good as it gets. And it's still pretty damn shit. Well, that's a one for me, but I, I don't like that. You're a man of fine taste. When we started this video, the sun was out. Now there is no sun at all. It is pitch black. That's how long we've been eating crisps for. I'm going to give this a one. What are you giving it? Two. Yeah, fair enough. No, <laughs> oh, we already my. had this one. No, this is a sweet potato. Oh, for God's sake. Ow. My teeth. You heard that? Yeah, it sounded pretty bad. <laughs> My taste buds are so ruined now. I'd give that seven. That's my favorite no. one. No. Are you serious? No. What do you mean? What would you give it? No. What would you give it? Five. Oh, f off. That's a seven. This is perhaps one of Calby's biggest sellers. It is shrimp flavored crisps. I do know as well, when you go abroad, this is always the Japanese import that yeah, they have. Yeah, very cheap. It's extremely cheap. I actually don't mind them. They're, they're subtle. A subtle shrimp taste. You can't taste the shrimp. You, you don't get excited about it. This is the kind of crisp that you give out to someone at a party because it was the cheapest to buy in bulk. I don't know how to give away. This is terrible, though. <laughs> this, is, this is like three. There's no flavor. It's just texture. I'll give it a five. Oh, fuck. You know what your favorite? Jeremy! Oh, I'm so sick of this. Salad flavor. It looks like someone's just sneezed over potato crisp. <laughs> One. 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 Get That's out of my terrible. sight. That's terrible. Guess what's up next, Chris? Some Another Jagami! Oh, Tempura oh, udon flavor. Oh gosh, that doesn't smell good. They all taste the same. I swear to God, if we had eaten all these flavors back to back, blindfolded, I'd be like, it's all the same flavor. Seriously. Should we test that? Take that. I won't look at it because that'll give it away. Yeah, take, eat it. <laughs> what does it taste like? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, all right. Cheese. <laughs> this is that. That one is raw. Next one. Next one. <laughs> What do you think this one is? It tastes the same as the last one. <laughs> what do you think it is? What do you... Cheese. <laughs> it's butter. 
Last one, last one. Basically the same. Oh, it's horrible. What's this? That one's the sweet potato one. Chip star. Uh, sushi salt. So sushi you seaweed. So it's seaweed salt, not sushi. Sushi salt. Oh. The branding and the colour is just ghastly. Uh, it looks like someone designed it in 1976 <laughs> and then just didn't deviate from the branding. They're like, just keep it as it is. Right, go on. Have a trace. These, these smell dreadful. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to put it in my mouth. I feel so I feel so horrible now. <laughs> I haven't eaten this many crisps since whatever. Like since yesterday. <laughs> That's a firm one from me. Possibly even a zero. It doesn't taste like anything, and the taste that I do get is not good. It tastes like punishment. One more. And it's kind of not really a crisp, but it is a crisp. Oh, I hate these. <laughs> do you? I actually quite like these. Happy tongue. Happy tongue. Imagine somebody got some sandpaper, <laughs> drenched it in sugar, and that is effectively what this tastes like. Listen to that. It's on my table. My table, mate. Your table. Oh, no. You can have that one. I actually quite like it. You need to sort yourself out. Just like a seven or a six for me. It's like a zero for me. <laughs> really? That bad? <laughs> the That's only reason much. they're popular in Japan amongst Japanese people that I've spoken to is because mm -hmm. they're nostalgic. It's hard to decide which my favourite is. I feel like there's a mood for each one. But these, these, this is everywhere. You can see this in every single kombini. This is normally in every kombini as well. This, I don't actually see that much. They're in bigger stores. But it is very good. Yeah. And also, can't forget the Pokemon snacks. We can forget that one. We can't forget the Pokemon. It didn't look like Pokemon. If this is still around when you're in Japan, I get I recommend this one. If not, this is also fantastic. Uh, but this is... Really, I think we both really, really like this one. You've got so many crisps left over, you're just going to sit in this apartment for the next week and just, like, munch on them. Mm, yeah. You're going to look so terrible in about six days' time. You're going to look like a walking, talking ball of shit. <laughs> this these. is amazing. You want a crisp? I never want to look at a crisp again. Next time we do this, can we do something fun, like... A salad. Salad bar. <laughs> salad. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Chris. Don't forget to check out Chris's channel. Uh, you can click on his name or link down below. And make sure to watch Wacky Weekend, which is the series where we occasionally do something wacky. Equally as appalling. Especially which, what we did recently. Which, yeah, true. Which actually has a production value. So if you do want to go and watch Chris's video, uh, link in the description to that and up there in the card. I think it's going to be this side. I hope it's if this side. If you want to see the worst hotel in Japan, Go and check it out. It's pretty bad. It's, it's very it's, bad. It's very, very, very bad. bad. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, Thanks, yeah, guys. like, subscribe, and all the stuff that YouTube requires me to tell you to do. All right. Bye, guys. Oh, it's be sick. I'm going to throw up. Oh. <laughs>